Welcome back to Jeff Koinange Live here at Citizen Television. Wow, these young legislators are full of fire. Firebrand, as Ledama Olekina from Narrow County says, that's what they are. And this is the future of Kenya, by the way, and it's good to know. They're full of fire, and yes, they're outspoken. Narok's, Narok County's Ledama Olekina, Nakuru County's Susan Kika. Before we go on, real quick, real quick, any regrets about getting into politics? I know your dad was in politics for many years. You jumped in the deep end. Any regrets, real quick? Well, no. I would say there have been some low moments, obviously, because sometimes it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you achieve a lot more. And uh, as long as I'm able to make a difference yeah. for my people in Nakuru County yeah. and now in, for Kenya at large, then at the end of the day, it's okay. I've known you for 30 years. Plus. Yes. Plus. You guys Long are time. old. You guys you know, are old. Yeah, you know, we started off we as journalists. Together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. a great journalist. This guy was, um, uh, well. <laughs> no regrets. No regrets. I mean, sometimes, but sometimes I wish that we'll spend more time explaining to Kenyans what is the role of a senator, what is the role of a member of the National yeah. Assembly, and the role of an MCA. Yeah. Because some of the that we get is that, oh, you're not giving us any development, you've not brought anything. Mm. So that sometimes puts us down, and you just feel like, you know, I just wish. It's a calling for me, yeah. and I am determined to go the whole nine years to ensure that I can bring positive change to the people. And, 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 and you're hopeful. Very, very, oh, you're absolutely, both hopeful. Absolutely, oh, very hopeful. absolutely. Good for you. Absolutely. Good for you. Okay. Mm. Senator, yes. you were part of that committee checking out the line items in the governor's budget. Yes. My friend, please help me out here. Mm -hmm. Because when you see, okay, state house events, 973 million. Peacekeeping in Juba or South Sudan, uh, 500 billion. Yes. Uh, free primary school education. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Senator, now, please, let me, let me, let me please. Put it, let me put it this way. Yeah. We, as a, as, as a country, do not understand our roles. There's something called accountability cycle. Yeah. That accountability cycle starts with us. Okay? Yeah. And we are accountable to Wanjiko. It starts with parliament. We appropriate, uh, we, we, know, we, look at, uh, we, we, we look at the budget. Yeah. And then we pass the budget. That budget goes down to the county government. When they go down to the government, county government, they are supposed to be able to implement it. In the county government, the MCS yep. approves a budget. Yep. Where we fail is involving the citizens mm -hmm. from the onset for them to be able to understand. Yeah. All this mess you are seeing coming out of this Auditor General report is because of Treasury wanting to control this government. Mm -hmm. You know, they forget that we have two forms of government. What do I mean by that? National. We have a national government and we have a county government. Uh -huh. Now Treasury sends out a template uh -huh. to be used for them to be able to report these program-based budgets. When they do that, in the county government, the accounting officers we have there who have got the fiduciary duty to ensure that the money is spent well are too lazy to be able to do the work properly. So they take a template and they cut and, cut and paste, cut and paste. Mm -hmm. Allegedly, because I sit in this in, uh, in CPIC. Yes. And when those reports come in, it became a little bit suspect when you see that the same figure is in one county as the other county. So it's a template. It's a national template. Treasury sent a national template, and they sent also a county government template. Right. But the county officers in the county governments end up being so lazy, and the governors are not doing anything as well, they don't follow the procedure set out under the Public Audit Act Section 31, which is very clear in terms of the auditing. Because if during this process the county governors are diligent, they should have been able to pick out that there are certain financial statements which they have submitted for, to the auditor to provide an opinion that had figures which they did not, were not appropriated in the first place by the county assemblies uh -huh. and they were not approved by the control of budget. Right. So you'll find that there's a lot of misuse in public, in, in, um, in county governments. You'll find, we have recently, we are so current, and my colleague Susan Kika will tell you that this committee that I sit in is very current. We are looking at 2017, 2018 financial statements. When we look at those 2018 financial statements, like we started with the county of Lamu. When we looked at the county of Lamu, there was a lot of money, almost 1.2 billion, which was spent outside IFMIS. 
So if you spend money out of, outside IFMIS, there's no way that even IFMIS or even the Auditor General will be able to ascertain that that money was used the right way. So there are two issues happening here. Oh. Money is being spent outside IFMIS. Right. Nairobi County is another den of thieves. They, they withdrew 381 million shillings and paid in cash. In another transaction, 208 million shillings, payment in cash. The moment we set out our systems. So we've got system failures and we've got utter disregard of the rule of law right. and laziness in the county of Fisca. Let me come back a bit on that. Mm. Um, we saw last week the hula baloo that came along yes. with... Uh, Started with Kiambu County. With Kiambu County. Yes. But... Uh. Having worked myself in the county, I, I was the speaker of Nakuru County yep. before I became yep. a senator. And now being a senator, I also understand, I may not be in SIPAI committee, but I understand there is a way that uh, you get money to do whatever expenditures you have at the county level. In my mind, and in any reasonable person's mind, there was no way that Governor Waitito could have spent money for state house functions or spent money for peace in South Sudan or that kind of madness that we saw. But at the same time, beyond uh, the, the workers at the county level being lazy, maybe we also have lazy journalists. Because we should be asking questions too. Right. Like, is this possible? Right. This budget has to go through uh, the county assembly. Correct. They have to approve it. Correct. So you want to tell me on uh, what even vote-head would they be using to be able to get that to money? Approve exactly, that. So we'll talk about the vote-head. For free, for yes. free oh, okay. primary education. Yeah. Right. Okay. So beyond the county assembly, then you also, because the media would always be there when the budget is being done. Right. Yeah? So you want to tell me nothing leaked about that. And, and then nobody, said anything. nobody said anything. And then you want to tell me the controller of budget actually released money for expenditures to the county government for functions that are for national government. It's it ridiculous. doesn't even take a genius to Let know me, that's not possible. Okay, so uh, real quick, just so that I can understand, was this mischief or was this laziness on the, on the part of uh, the county uh, financial, whatever, the treasurer guy, the guy in charge of money? Or, or what is it? I think we can't just say it's laziness. I'm worried that we may be having, uh, uh, let, let's see, the best term to use here. We may be having an Auditor General who is, needs to be put more to question. Like, what are you doing? Are you, are you just inciting when you throw these things out like that? When, I mean, because you should be able to tell by the time it gets to the Senate and we are reading in the papers that Waititu is doing 800 mi retired presidents. Correct. Like, what Correct. are we talking about? Correct. So I think it's not just laziness, and, and he's been vindicated by because what we've heard from them. Yes. We've seen other counties, counties but initially, everybody wanted to lynch Waititu. <laughs> so as much you know, as you don't like the man, we yeah. must also be reasonable. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah? I, see, I see it a little bit different. Uh -huh. I think that uh, Waititu had a role to play, and he failed. Because the Public Audit Act Section 31 is very clear. When the audit process begins, there is an entry interview where they talk about the issues they're going to be talking about. Yes. You know, they, then during that entry interview, after they have done that, then they have, they have an exit interview. And then after the exit interview, they have, uh, they are given a draft management letter by the Auditor General. Okay. Who says, if you find anything that you do not uh, agree, uh -huh. you've got 14 days. Uh -huh. The law is very clear. Before it goes to the Senate. Before now, the Auditor General renders his opinion. So in this case, I will defend the Auditor General. I think we in Parliament have failed because the Auditor General has been out saying that we need someone to oversee him. Okay, we but, need an external okay, like, auditor. Like Senator Kehika says, it wasn't just Kiambu. I think it's Kitui, Kitui County, now, Kirinyaga, true, Kirinyaga yes. County, mm -hmm. and one we more. Did, and and let me tell you who to blame there. Yeah. The person to blame there, and I stated it very clearly from the onset, is Treasury. Because if Treasury, through the IFMIS department, is sending out a template which already has figures mm, in them. In it. Okay? Yeah. And then these people in the county government are too lazy to be able to do their job. You know, because you see, you talked about the vote, vote head. Yes. Budgets in county governments are on project based. Mm, so true. if Miss comes out and say, mm. use these vote heads. Mm. So if you get a template that has a vote head that already has a figure of state house, yeah. of all these things, yeah. you're being lazy. Because during the audit process, yeah. You know, you cannot say Wachito is not wrong here. He's wrong because his team is lazy. He is lazy. He does not pay, 
you know, uh, due diligence yep. in understanding the whole process. But, but, but there's a big difference you know, between being lazy yeah. that his team did not catch and that stealing. and saying that he stole two billion shillings. That's a whole see, big white okay. gap. You see, but what I'm saying, mm. then if the treasury is mm. who is at fault, we mm. need to have them issue a statement and say that they're the ones who have created this mess. Could if Otherwise, be wrong? If could, or could if miss be let messed me up? Let me, let me no. just be very be honest with you. Mm. We need two types of if, if miss. Okay? Yeah. Because the law is very clear. The Public Finance Management Act is very clear. Mm. All transactions must go through if miss. That's correct. Okay? Yes. But you'll see yeah. that in all those counties that we've gone through and yeah. analyzed their reports, yeah. transactions are being held outside if miss. The, the Auditor General comes out and says, um, I, you give me your financial statements. Based on your financial statement, I shall render an opinion. And what Kenyans need to understand is that an opinion by the Auditor General does not mean that you are very clean, even if it's an unqualified opinion. Look at McQueen as an example. Yeah. You know, yeah. there are serious issues of, of impress mm -hmm. yes. that were the other matters. So for us in our committee, we take more keen on other matters. So when these documents come to us, Jeff, when they come to mm -hmm. us, we are looking at the financial statements which were presented yeah. by the county government to the auditor. Correct. So you cannot, in my view, you cannot blame the auditor here. Because we are all part of the accountability cycle. Parliament, um, the ministries, together with the uh, county government, the auditor himself, the external auditor, who the auditor has been saying for the last two years, please appoint an auditor, yeah. and then he comes back to us in parliament to oversight. We are responsible for Wanjiko. Wanjiko gives us money through treasury. When she gives us money or he gives us money through treasury, it is our responsibility to ensure a fiduciary responsibility. But we are failing there by doing that. Senator, do we owe Waititu an apology? I think at the, end, at the end of the day, I mean, I know I we mean, do Senator have... Ledama, no, no, no. no, 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 no I, I think I, I I said, Senator no. Ledama does not agree. No, but at the same no. time, I believe, because what Ledama is saying is that there was laziness on Waititu's side. Laziness and, and I can team. agree with that on his yes, team. Yes. But there is, a, why, there is a huge difference between just being lazy versus stealing over two billion mm. shillings for functions that your county does not, it's, that's not under your mandate. Right. So I think at the end of the day, if, it is, it, if we are able, within the 45 days, I believe that's yeah, where the Senate, 45 uh, 45 days. Yeah, yeah, days. Six weeks, so yeah. if within the 45 days, which will be here pretty soon, mm -hmm. if that was not the case, if Waititu did not get 800 million for free primary education right. or whatever, we owe him an apology. Because we cannot also be jumping out there, lynching somebody, putting, now, now in addition to just Waititu, we have, you saw what uh, the letter that was issued by Governor Anway Guru, yes. you also saw what yes. the uh, um, Kitui. Kitui as well, yeah. Yeah. COG as well, have yeah. come out and taken a position. Right. So as, as leaders, we must also make sure that the citizenry has faith in us, in what we are doing, in the process and everything. Okay. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't believe that we owe our Waititu an apology. As no, an I'm not saying we do. I'm saying yeah. if at the end because of the day, in 45 days, yes. if he had not gotten he any, if he did not or, have uh, expenses of retired presidents, right. peace in South Sudan, peacekeeping, uh, uh, <laughs> all that, yeah. and uh, state house functions, yes. then absolutely he would owe let, him let an me, apology. Let me, let, me, let me qualify why we don't owe him okay. an apology. Good. Because it behooves him okay, to look at what he's presenting to the auditors. Yeah. The auditor has simply rendered an opinion based on the evidence. It is like when you go to court, and my dear sister is a lawyer, mm -hmm. when you present, when you go to court, your case will be determined based on the evidence you produce. And the evidence is the, there. See, and and the we, evidence shows he, did the, no. he didn't so, steal two billion. No, no, wait, let me, put, let me finish. At the accountability cycle, we have institutions which are tasked by the constitution mm -hmm. to be able to carry out you know, to find out the uh, legality of every expenditure. We have the DCI, we have the ESCC. It is now upon them to carry out what the Auditor General has presented as money which has been budgeted. Yeah. And then from there, he can come back and say, you know what, we blame IFMIS. And the person who made that error, yeah. may it be IFMIS, and I would dare say the accounting staffs, Mm -hmm. Because if you look at right. even the accounting, mm -hmm. even if you look at the Auditor General report, if you look at the Control of Budget report, the first in the executive summary, he and she states clearly that the fiduciary responsibility falls within this accounting staff. Okay, let me On ask that you this. In agreement. Let me ask you uh -huh. this. So over the weekend, uh -huh. Deputy President William Ruto uh -huh. came out and defended Waititu. Says, "Don't worry, he mambo watulize." 
Meaning, you know, all those. Uh, uh, and, and, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to jump into it. And you are Team Tanga Tanga, so I'm sure you're going to defend all, him. There is, is no it? such thing as Team Tanga Tanga. Ah. But you get it. <laughs> now, first of all, you're also misquoting what the deputy said. Okay, what did you say? What did he say? did not defend Waititu. He said. What? No, wait, Jeff. What he said was we, can, we will hold him accountable for the mandate that he's responsible for. for that county. is county. Yeah. Yeah. But if we are talking about money for national functions, which he, his county, he did not. There is no way he can spend money for national functions when you can only the so, control of budget so can only. So state house events. Uh, so if if they exactly yeah. so that you cannot ask Waititu because there is no way he. But could he defended have, him, was he, uh, No, he didn't defend that. him. He just said, "Let us hold him accountable for what is within uh, his mandate." You know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you where the bigger problem is. Go on. And my sister will agree with yes. this. Yes. Jubilee makes up the majority in both houses. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's Proudly. And, and, and you're uh, not Jubilee, by the way. No, Correct. I'm ODM, 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 Dem, ODM, Dem. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> yes. Jubilee makes up the majority. Yes. And my sister will agree with me yeah. that even during the Ruaraka land report, they failed. Because you know what? Right now, we're in a situation where these guys are told, <coughs> vote this way. Mm. Don't question it. Mm. Vote this way. Okay? Yeah. Look at even the way the money which was allocated to NYS as an example. Okay, if we are following the law, it should have only been 10% more. So these guys, even the budget the way we have, and I, and I dare say this, yeah. that even the current stalemate we have in the Senate and the National Assembly, in terms of the division of revenue bill, these guys will, be, you, they, they, they will they'll bail on, on us. Because they, they vote will, as a they, block. They whoa, vote whoa, as whoa. a block. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just finalize. Uh -oh. They will go there and they'll be told, this budget <laughs> has got to go through the way it is. Uh -huh. They will not scrutinize it. Oh, my. They will not scrutinize <laughs> oh it. Oh, my. Yeah. And, and I say this because, yeah. I, you know, uh, well, Senator Kika is a, very, is, is a very, very eloquent and intelligent senator. Yes. And sometimes, I, I agree. Even, even this issue of Ruaraka, yes. she, may, she may not really like what she did, but I like her, the, the fact that she stood there and voted no. Others ran away. Mm -hmm. they, you know, yeah, they just didn't show you know, up. Others ran away. Well, you didn't, Actually, you they didn't did. That, you, didn't, you didn't answer this question about the deputy president. Mm. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. the deputy president made a very... Uh, uh, I don't even know. I don't want to use that word. Okay, big blunder. But it, a big blunder. But I was going to say, you <laughs> I know, I was going to try to figure what you're out. Gonna say. You know? <laughs> because you see, let me tell you, let me yeah. tell you, before you speak about something, have the facts. You know? If he says what to Lise, then of course we are going to ask them, why on earth do you, f do you forward if information there for that money to be spent? Why can't you scrutinize what is being sent? But yeah. can because I ask a executive. question? Yeah, sure. Can I ask sure, uh, sure, sure, my sure. colleague here a question? Absolutely. Do you actually believe? that Governor Waititu got money to spend for state house functions? No. Yes or no? No. Okay. I said Do it, you believe I, for peace in South Sudan? I said it very clearly. Wait, uh -uh, just I answer me it, first. For free said, primary education. I said it very clearly. Mm -hmm. The problem is with him and his staff, not not uh, exercising due diligence. But, but you can't have it both ways. On yes, one yes, hand, you you're saying... Yes, you no, can. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. First of all, we are agreeing. We, my Tito has not stolen, as, as was put out last week, two billion shillings for national functions. You know, and what the deputy president said, he did not defend my Tito. Yeah. What he said is, yeah. let him be held responsible for functions that are under his mandate. Right. Things, roles that are under the national government, how would you hold him responsible when he cannot, let me the tell control you, of budget I would, would never I would, give him I would money hold for him that. responsible because of one thing, mm -hmm. a fiduciary responsibility, due diligence, he, before he submitted, and let me tell you, the public code act is very clear. It is very clear. Mm. You know, even the president of this republic is not called a CEO, but a governor is called a CEO. Mm. Yeah. The CEO has got to sign. Why on earth was he signing documents, giving it to the auditor without scrutinizing Okay, them? wait. Let's wait for so, the 45 no. days. There is okay, good. Because I, I truly believe yeah. that we are mad slinging. You've heard that from the other governors, yeah, yeah. from Kirinyaga, mm. from, I mean, everywhere. Yeah. Now they are. They, are, they say this yeah, cannot see, be true. Team Tanga Tanga will defend themselves all the way. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't okay, think so. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the, so let's switch from Waititu now. All right. okay. uh, the national, uh, uh, the counties are demanding more money, right? Mm -hmm. From the Treasury and National Assembly, who's allocated 310 billion. Mm -hmm. The Senate wants to allocate what? 335 billion. Yes. Can I go fast since he started yes. talking about that? He go. said that we'll. No, no, but you didn't. No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no, no, can you finish your Aren't question? counties misusing what they have already is the question that people are asking. Mm -hmm. You guys want to throw more monies. <laughs> no, what we're saying, Jeff, and that's why I wanted to, <laughs> Jeff, to correct what uh, my sure? uh, Senator Ledama here said, that yes. we just have... Not on that one, not on that no, one. No, 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 you're talking not about... Not on that particular one. On okay. this particular one, not I on that wanted one. him to be clear. Not on, on this national one. TV. No, this one... We you, voted you, together. You, this one we voted together. We died together. We, we voted together, together for 335 yes. billion and said there is no way that the government, the, the economy yes. is growing, we are collecting more, and you want to reduce the amount that's going to the counties. Because now, I mean, bringing it down to 310 is even less than last time. So we all agreed this one is no, this one we voted together for From the counties. Three ten to three thirty five. You know Absolutely. what, Jeff? You Billion. say it. Yes. The question was: yes. Governors, uh, you know, senators want to send three thirty five. Yes. Million. Do you know in the rank of corruption who is leading in corruption? It is the presidency, oh, Lord. my friend. What? Yes. What the Ministry mean? of Interior is number one in in corruption. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? These are facts, Jeff. Let's call this it the Ministry is, of is, Interior. That's this not is, presidency. Let me tell you, but it's under the presidency. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's <laughs> under the presidency. Call a spade a spade. Let me tell you, call, pick up the phone right now. Call the, the ESCC director. Mm. Call even, uh, what's his name, the chairperson. He will tell you in the rank, number one is the Ministry of Interior and Corruption. But can okay? I say something to I that? I sit, last, about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. we had a stakeholders meeting with ESCC, um, DCI, mm -hmm. DPP, DPP, okay, uh, with my committee of PAC. And this is when we said that even in our sitting of PAC, we are going to have somebody from DCI, we are going to have somebody from DPP, okay, and we are also going to have somebody from Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And when she, the, the deputy chair of uh, ESCC was submitting to us yeah. the list of the highly corrupt people, yeah. the number one was what? the presidency, Ministry of Interior. For what? Okay. But for what? You know, let me put it this way. Governor Sonko and a few other governors came up with this thing called uh, confidential account. And when they are asked, what is all this nonsense about this confidential account? Some of the explanation they gave is that, oh, security, security. The constitution is very clear. The only uh, entity that is supposed to have a confidential account is the national government under the Ministry of Interior. Mm -hmm. You know, some money where you don't have to really account right, for it. Right. But that, in my view, is being abused. You know, when you look at the Ministry of Interior, it is not only Matiangi. It falls all the way down to the police. police. Okay, the it goes down NIS. Yes. Mm -hmm. It goes down all the way. Right. So when ESCC came up and said, you know, it is the most corrupt, there's no way you can equate that with the corruption in county governments. That's number one. Number two... The fact that county governments are corrupt. If we sit down, if we keep on talking and saying they are corrupt and we are not taking action, right. we are not implementing the law. Yeah. There is a PFM Act which is very clear. The Public Audit Act which was, which was passed in 2015. Mm -hmm. It has never been effected. If you look at Article 62 of the, uh, of the Public Audit Act, it is very clear that when county government submit wrong information or withhold information from the auditor, yes. if they should be, if they are found capable, you go for five years in jail. You know, three years in jail. Let, let me, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me in, yes. back up, just back up a little bit yeah. on the Ruaraka report, because oh, I know the Senator Ruaraka. mentioned. Uh, just briefly. <laughs> One, I, I agree, we voted against it. And for, for some of us who did that, it may have been to do with uh, some of the, how the report was written. Yes. I know there were some people that the report had said something to the effect or hold them responsible or whatever, and we felt that truly due process had not been followed. So since I advocate for due process, I cannot do it selectively. However... I still challenge the other investigating agencies, be they, first of all, ESCC, mm -hmm. to continue with that investigation Very from true. where the uh, Senate left off and continue. And I know we've had previously, twice they have, found, they have forwarded the files to DPP. And twice DPP has kicked them back. So we need to kind of know what's going on. Now, on one part, when you talk about the Ministry of Interior being very corrupt, I'm not quite surprised because we've been reading about it in the papers. We saw that police choppers are being fueled for 112 million per month. It's ridiculous. I mean, and that is why sometimes I have a problem with the DCI. Some of us insist that maybe the ESCC is the better person to investigate than DCI. And this is back to your point. The DCI is not independent. The accounting officer for DPI is that in the same ministry. 
kibicho right those mm -hmm. matiangi so, no, yeah. so do you really expect this yai to go investigate their bosses do you expect these you know, police officers to investigate other police officers they don't have so whoever has the pass is whose tune you're going to sing so half the time we are going to have a problem that is why i insist ESCC is probably the better it is the, it is a commission a constitutional commission mm -hmm. It does not have to go seeking for handouts like DCI. Right. So maybe they would do a more objective job. So that's on Ruaraka and that. We've also heard about, we read that in the papers, a Sijuya 10 kilometer chain link fence for three billion. Yeah, so ridiculous. they need to be investigated more. So when we talk about fighting I corruption. I need that from our forest. I, 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 exactly, exactly. I only need only 400 million. <laughs> and, and, that's that's right. and I'm doing so it. So when, we, will do it, when we fight it. corruption, yeah. let us do it holistically. Let us not so be you're selective. It's being selective. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That sounds like Team Tanga Tanga uh, to me. Come on, Jeff. What, what is this Team Tanga Tanga? There is one Jubilee party. No, there isn't. We do not. No, you there isn't. There are two know, centers of power you now. Know, where? And in this country, we are under the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, and he's assisted by his principal assistant. Really? Yes. When he William says Ruto. no campaigning, why are you people campaigning? Nobody's campaigning, Jeff. Have you taken a position on this, Jeff? You have. No, we have not. You know who you know who talks about Tanga Tanga and, and campaigning? Who? The few Kitoel Weke people oh. who are sympathizers oh, so of ODM. But you know who they are? <laughs> they are just few people that I can't even count on my five. Six. No, there is there is that short guy. Oh. <laughs> there is the guy who is nominated who has no <laughs> Who has no docket? Okay. You know? <laughs> who else? Who else do you know? They are barely. They are just ODM sympathizers and they are the political uh, wing uh, of what uh, you uh, rather uh. talked about. The stop Ruto movement. That's all. But they're only five or less. Let me let me oh. you know just this woman is tough. No, let me put it this, this way. Is tough. Let me put it this way. I think uh, let us just admit yes. that we have failed Kenyans. Yeah. Completely. Yes. yes. We yes. have failed Kenyans yes. yeah. and it is about time that we start thinking seriously about how we are going to change this country. Because the level of corruption in county governments, oh, it's, it's run away. Yeah, 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 in in, in national agree. governments, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and also on this issue of corruption, I, I do believe that the DCA is doing a fantastic job. Okay. You know, and uh, I think we should give him more powers. Yeah. We should allow him to be because in in a govern in a country ra managed by the rule of law or ruled by the rule of law, these bodies should be independent. You know, even when we were um, talking about the new AG. One of the key th um, elements or other characteristics that we were all arguing that uh, a, a new IEG should have is that it should be able to think independently regardless of who, who is the appointing authority. Because once you get there, you're not there to be able to please your master. Look at what is happening in county governments. Governors are controlling the CECs. Okay, yeah. the, CECs, uh, the CECs cannot be able to move any expenditure without the governor knowing. You know, there are some counties, my friend, where the governor even has to see the check so that it, it can but, be signed. But, but you know, the governor is afraid of being okay. impeached. And you know, they, that, that, that's the other thing. No. But, but the other day... The back stops with him. Correct. But the other day, Senator uh, Olakina, you, you tweeted Absolutely. that there's going to be... I don't know if you said a dozen 70. or there's going to be a whole 70%. bunch of... I'll, I'll put it, it this way. I said, I said 80%, oh, 80 sorry. of the current governors we are going... And the former governors will end up in jail. That's what you said. Wow. Article 226, subsection 5 of the Kenyan Constitution is very clear. Look at what is happening to Kidero. The poor guy is back and forth, back and forth the court. Every day. Let me tell you from what we, did, what we, have, what we have read. I, you know, these, these are some of our documents. We have looked at the financial statements. We have looked at the Auditor General report. You know, there's no way that a governor, let's say from Lam, mm. a governor from Nairobi, mm. a governor from Majir, yeah. a governor from, uh, you know, any of the 47 counties, yeah. he is going to say he is going to be able to go and sleep well after he's out of office knowing all the shenanigans and the stupid things they are doing. So you're saying okay? at least 35 right now, out when of you 47 will end up in jail. Well, let, me tell you, let me tell you something. Right. When you look at the, uh, this year's Auditor General report, yep. 30 counties were given a qualified opinion. Oh. Okay? okay? Two counties were given an unqualified opinion. 15 counties got a disclaimer and advice. So the first thing you ask yourself, Jeff, is that what does it mean to get yeah. a, a qualified, disclaimer? Unqualified a disclaimer yeah. Yeah. is very simple. There was a limitation of scope. When the mean? auditor came in and said, yeah. we want to audit how you paid out, like 
for instance, I'll give you a good example. Uh, let's say Embu County okay. as an example. Okay. We want to know how you are able to spend 6.2 mil uh, billion shillings, you know, yet in IFMIS it is only 3 billion which is indicated. And then you do not provide the documentation. So the auditor is limited. He can only come out and say your financial statement do not reflect it doesn't the position up. or the health yeah. of your county. Now, when you, the qualified opinion, they say, okay, give us a documentation to show us how you spend your money, you provide everything. But then the auditor comes and says, let us look at other matters. Let us go into pretty things like Im impress. Okay. If you look at a county like, for instance, McQueen, mm -hmm. as an example, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make sense as to why one person should be paid 8.8 .8 million shillings in impress, and at the end of the financial year, they do not declare that interest. But surrender that interest. But is supposed to be no, the listen, top county, listen. my friend. So that's why I'm saying in trouble. being given a qualified and unqualified, mm. you know, those two, yeah. qualified and yeah. unqualified, yeah. does not mean that you are, you are, you are doing everything good. Mm. It only means the way you prepared your documents, the transactions in IFMIS, were carried out properly, the Public Procurement and Disposable Act was followed, the PFM Act was followed, but then what we are looking at now is we are going at other matters which have clearly been listed out there by the Auditor General. Uh, is that, is that uh, like actually, supporting uh, documents, those are those receipts, are, mm -hmm. what yes. we would call you know, receipts? Yeah, what? but what? Sorry. No, let me ask you a question. Uh. You come out and say there was uh, about 380 million shillings yep. that was paid out to suppliers in Nairobi County. Okay. Oh, or Nakuru County. Okay. Yet yeah, they ask you, give us an LSO, mm. right. give us an LPO, right. give us an invoice. Right. You know. And there's none of that. There's none, none of that. that yeah. So of course you get a you get a, you get a, an, an a disclaimer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. with the qualified and unqualified, it does not mean that everything is good. good. Mm. It just means that the auditor did his job. He rendered an opinion. He said, I can render a qualified opinion to clearly state that your financial statements reflect fairly, apart from other areas that he would have noted. You know how you've been able to spend your money and from that and uh, what i was going to say yes, actually yes. the one thing that i would say about the current committee of cpike in the senate yeah. they are really doing a good job and that is why we are kites, we are having these discussions in this manner and right. maybe over time yeah this will make the governors start doing their More jobs aware. right because they know uh -huh. that this stuff is not just going to slip through the cracks because right. before what was happening we would when we first got into the senate we were looking at reports from 2014, 2013, 2013 2014. Yep. So when it's 2018 yep. and I'm looking at 2013, that guy is long gone. He's long gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. money has been spent. He's done it probably 2013, 2014, 2015. But if this is happening real time, like yes. they're doing right now yes. almost, yeah? Because yes. right now you're looking at 20, 2017, 2017, 2018. Yeah. Yeah. So they've done a very good job. And what this will do, you will, he will sub supplement the cycle in making sure that we are holding account them accountable, the, what they're doing is transparent, so that by the next year, then they won't just go do crazy things, because yeah. they know that uh, these guys will come for them. Yeah. And you know they're doing this for 47 counties. And when they do them, those reports for scrutinizing them at that level for yes, 47 counties, yes. and it's the executive as well as the county assembly. Yes, that's, so it is that's a lot of work, but two. I want to show you the Senate this time is not joking. But the uh, question is, will these counties be held accountable, or the governors, will they be held Jeff, accountable? Jeff. Yes. I said it yes. before, and I stand by my words. Mm -hmm. Article 226, subsection 5 is very clear. You know, and some people might say, oh, why don't you look at our county? Why don't you look at our yes, county? Yes. We have 47 counties. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've looked at the ones which have been given a disclaimer yeah. and advice. Yeah. You know, we are going through down that list. We will go to the qualified, and I can guarantee you that within a very short time, before the end of this year, we've looked at all the 47 okay. reports. Mm -hmm. They have all been adapted. Mm -hmm. The law is very clear. It says which before we are violating the law, it says parliament shall consider, I think article 229 mm. of the constitution says parliament shall consider the report of the Auditor General within three months. Mm. We are within three months of tabling. What happens okay? after that? After that, yes. then it goes into, back into what I told you, the accountability yep. circle. Mm. DCI, ESCC. Mm. And now, the work is easier. The reason why the work is easier is because we have, have ESCC, right we have an ESCC, we have an ESCC person, yeah, yeah. we have a DCI person, yeah. we have a DPP. So when they submit, the, the, when they prepare all the, uh, all the cases, they will go to the DPP and they will be prosecuted. And they'll have the numbers. So my have the warning to the governors, yes. it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> You know, Pre present or past? Present and past. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. Mm -hmm. 
once you are given the you know you are the fiduciary we'll come for you They'll come you for know you. we are coming for you and the, the message to them is this spend the wanjiko money the way wanjiko want them but give them services give them services. let them feel value for their money yeah you know? yeah well, i'm surprised when you mentioned makueni because everyone praises makueni and professor Look, but numbers Kibana. don't Look, lie numbers, yeah, let me tell now. you huh? there is a lady by the name of janet mutio I, I, I'm looking at these are public documents. Yes. You know? Yes. At the end of the financial year, yeah. there was 8.8 .8 million shillings in outstanding impress. How now? My dear sister will tell you if we in parliament are given impress, mm. we must surrender impress within seven days. You Failure must. to which mm. will be surcharged. Why is Makweni governor not? A year later. No. And then also the other big question is this this 8.8 .8 yeah. is again is the PFM Act. How do you pay somebody 8.8 .8 million in impress? That's number one. There is also, when you look at, there's also another guy called Martin Mutendo, 3.1 in impress. When you calculate all these, mm. there's about 15 million shillings outstanding impress. That's not it. You look at other issues like scholarships. You have given out scholarships. You have not listed out the beneficiaries of those scholarships. Who are they? When you look at that, there's 769 million shillings which it says are the expenses. Are the expenses my foot? You've not listed them out and say, this is the expense, mm, this is the expense. Mm, mm. So let me tell you, every county in this country, the 47 of them, they are in shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Can we say that excuse one? my French. <laughs> they are like, you know, let, let me tell you, they yes. have their, their hands in the cookie jar. Yes. You know, yes. they are misusing public money. Yeah. And the only way to resolve this, Jeff, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. is now following what is happening in Makweni. Mm. What I can say, you fight Makweni, but you give credit where it's due. The citizens yeah. of Makweni, listen to this. Go Jeff, on, go on, go on. Okay, yeah. are now part and parcel of the formulation. When the, the budget process is formulating, approval, execution, and oversight. Formulating, bring the public together. Mm -hmm. Let them sit down. We have yeah. a good budget. It's a program-based budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. Involve them. Mm -hmm. Tell them in this world, this is what we're going to do for mm -hmm. you. When the citizens of this Republic of Kenya okay, will say, this is my money, and I want to see it going well, yeah. and they don't send me a text message at 3 a.m. in the morning telling me I need 50,000 shillings for a loan <laughs> Correct. or something like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will get that money. Money will flow to them. And so, you know, so, 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 can I ask you sorry, this question? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we are new at this. Yeah. You know, we, we're less than a decade mm -hmm. into this new constitution. Mm -hmm. So obviously people who came into this mm -hmm. were not, and I'm not defending them by the way. Sure, yeah? sure, sure. Maybe they weren't savvy. Mm -hmm. They weren't up to speed mm -hmm. on dealing with billions and billions of shillings. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just looking at me and laughing here. But you know, but we, will, we will get better but, with each. But that's what I'm saying. The, the beauty is, or the good thing about all this, is suddenly the different uh, systems are getting put in place. The different um, agencies mm -hmm. are also getting strengthened. Mm -hmm. When you have uh, the Senate, for example, now being very active uh, in and being oversight. uh, oversighting, uh -huh. then at some point we are going to get to the level where we cannot excuse that ignorance. And right. it's not just ignorance. Sure. People are just stealing. Sure. Uh, but yes. at the end of it, though, Jeff, um, I believe it's going to get better. And the one thing I don't like is when as senators we ask questions, whatever county it is, not just mine, whatever, then we are told, oh, you're fighting governors. That must stop. Because mm. like my friend here, Senator Ladama said, until Kenyans are outraged enough yeah. by the misuse of their money, because yeah. public funds are their money, then they'll continue saying, uh, when you raise a question, mm. that you're politicizing so it. So we're not angry enough? No, no, no. we are not angry enough. No, absolutely, off, we are not. Absolutely not. Yeah. If I can stand there and raise an issue that why is the county government spending this yeah. instead of offering the services that you all said during public participation, right. why your priorities, and then somebody says, oh, you're fighting the governor, yeah. then we are not angry enough. Uh -huh. We are not. Uh, Senator, you disagree this. I mean, y y y no, incompetence no, no, no. is incompetence. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't agree that uh, people should not be given 3.6 billion, 30 billion to be able to spend. I think what we ought to do, Jeff, Okay, we have got to divorce our own interest, our own personal interest right. from the interest of the general public. Right. I've got serious issues with how we pass legislations in parliament. Mm. You know, yeah. Senator Kike and I sit in the energy committee. You know, I was furious about legislations which were passed. When we question them, we are told no, they have to go that way. So let me tell you, the only way we can be able to ensure that we have value for money right. is number one, 
you involve the citizens. Number two, let systems work. Okay? Yeah. There's no reason as to why we have the Public Audit Act, which is very clear. We have the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act, which is very clear. We have the PFM Act. We have the uh, PPDA. You know, we have all these acts which have been enacted by us, Parliament, to ensure that a fiduciary responsibility, but we do not care about implementation. But I don't even think it's about laws. I think we have enough laws. I agree with you on that. It's implementation. Mm. We have enough laws yeah. to make sure everything is right. I have a but tweet we are not here. implementing. I have a message here from um, uh, me Member of Parliament for Dagoretti South. 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 John Kiarie? JK. Yes, KJ. Yeah, K KJ. KJ. Yeah, KJ. 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 KJ says CDF. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to steal from CDF because it comes as a grant. Do, do you know why? Well, no. Do you know why? No, tell me. And I'll tell you this. CDF, just like it's, it's a conditional grant, the MP, Kiari, KJ, yes. mm -hmm. KJ mm -hmm. goes to his constituency mm -hmm. and he says, gentlemen, I've been given 70 million mm -hmm. or I'll be allocated 100 million. Yes. How do you want us to divide this money? He's asking his okay. citizens. He's asking his citizens. Uh -huh. So members of parliament go out there and they ask, and then the citizens come and say, we, we, want, want, a clinic. we want a clinic. Yeah. Then KJ writes a proposal mm -hmm. to the CDF board. Mm -hmm. When he writes a proposal to the CDF board, he says the people of Dagureti South want a clinic. That money will leave treasury going to Dagureti South as a clinic. Let me tell you, and I'm glad that KJ asked that question. Yep. If the money we are appropriating and sending to the county government could go as conditional grants. Mm. And we follow by checking everything, mm. I can tell you, we will be able to make it very difficult for these people to steal that money. Senator, so let and me again, ask you a question. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So KJ gets a grant mm. to build a clinic. Yes, yes. The person building the clinic, the builder, the constructor, mm -hmm. is KJ's brother. How is that? How? That's not how? legal. No, we don't. Uh, uh, That's unlawful. No, I mean, hypothetical. Oh, okay. KJ is not a brother in law. Hypothetical. Hypothetical. Because yeah, you know, yeah. there are Kenyans watching oh, out oh, there. Oh, just in case. And I don't yes. want us they to. They do it, them no, all took away of lynching. <laughs> we don't want us to lynch KJ. No, no, we don't. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, correct. All right. I stand corrected. <laughs> yes. Hypothetically, mm -hmm. it's KJ's brother in law or his cousin or someone close to him. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So they inflate the budget and they present this budget. To who? To who? To, uh, to how? How do you inflate the budget? Uh, let me ask you in CDF. So let's say there is the, there is a set amount for, for, the for that yeah, for, for that, that clinic. Fifty million. Uh, there are BQs. There has to be BQs there to show BQs. what that fifty Which million is worth. But BQs. <laughs> <laughs> Bill of quantities. But, oh, right, okay, okay but back to the public participation, which is what you're talking about. Yes. I think counties would do better <laughs> if they really listened to their people and what the needs of those people are. Because mm. the people come out. You yes. know, the law requires, you know, it's in the constitution, okay. it's the law, that public you must carry out public participation. So, so it's so us that, who are stupid. No, 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 no. First, we have failed them as government, county governments, for example. I'm just talking here about county okay. governments. Okay. Because the citizenry fail, I came out last year yeah. and I told you that what we wanted was a road. Yes. What we wanted Why most was you build a this hospital. Road? But yeah. then you're coming to call me out again to come out to do public participation and you didn't even do what you were supposed to do right. last year. So it sort of kills their morale. And then at the end of the day, to me I would imagine if you are a governor, yeah. it would make so, and I hear McWendy seems good at doing that. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah, public, yeah, public participation yeah. at the village yeah. level. Let them say what they want. Then it's easier to implement what it is that they but want. But then we no. come back and vote no, no, no. for you as governor or you, even though you didn't build that road you no, no, promised let me the last let me time. Put it this way. I said Jeff. we'll have a conversation Jeff, with the Kenyan voter. let me put it this way. <laughs> what we should be talking about are solutions. You know, because we can rant, we can rant yeah, when things have gone wrong, mm -hmm. and we don't have solutions. Mm -hmm. Sure. As a legislator, I have taken my job very seriously. I have, I, have, I have come up with serious legislations. There is one which is called County Oversight and Accountability Bill, which is now in the second reading. It's going to the third reading. Okay. I want my sister here to support me. Because what I'm saying, involve the citizens in the budget so making important. process. Okay? Once you involve them, then even the MCAs will no longer be interested in that World Development Fund. Right. Because when the budget is being formulated, yeah. they will say, uh, Naro County, which has six constituencies and 30 wards, we will go to each of the 30 wards and say, we, with the budget, we want to give Ward A uh, 100 million. Okay. Okay? What are the priorities here? Yeah. Involve the citizen in the appropriation process. Then once it's appropriated, let that budget go out 
Let it be passed by the assembly and please let us build the capacity of the assembly so that they can be able to read and understand that budget. Even, I dare say, you know, and I stand corrected on this, even in parliament, there are a lot of people who don't even read the, bu the budget. Sure. They just say, petition, uh, And sign. then after, after some time, they come and say, ayah. Kwani kulikuwa na few and levy. Haya. Kwani kulikuwa na 1.5% ya nini? Ya housing. Ya housing. Yes. And you are given the time to read, but you did not read. Right. So once we involve the citizens, we pass these laws. But the moment I, that, uh, that law went to the, county, uh, the Council of, uh, of Governors, they fought it. Of course. They said senators want to control yes. us. Correct, correct. And that was my point. You know, everything that we do comes is brought back in that as lens fight, of politics. A, However, a, we must continue to do our job. We have to. We must do we our job to. without fear or favor. And the job must be done. It has to be and done. And people must be held accountable. The county governments must be more transparent. And it must be that way. In your opinion, are governors just corrupt? I think or uh, incompetent. I, I think uh, or both. I think both. <laughs> but let me put it this way. I think what it is is that we, the citizens, are the ones who are making them corrupt. Mm. We are always asking them for favors, mm. asking them for favors, mm. money, 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 money. We're making them corrupt. That's number one. Number two, I, I think the, the, the problem that we have is that when we have a group of council of governors who want to give themselves powers as presidents, you know, some of them were even coming out and saying yeah. they should not be prosecuted yeah. while in office Correct. because the president is not prosecuted. Correct. Immunity. You know, yes. you know that is completely, uh, what, can you, what, what can you call it? That is... Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, okay. You, you said it. I didn't say it. But I, I think it's really um, not understanding what is your duty. Mm. And I think the problem we have as Kenyans is that we will continue electing those ones because... Ledama or Lekina or Susan Kihika will not give you a bribe, will not give you money right. to vote for, for them. them. But then you'll go to the one who will give you money and you vote. And then the moment he gets there, of course, he start taking all that money to repay back. He has to make but up but I, I, again, I think no. it's the chicken and the egg. Mm. We can't also blame first. the Wanainchi for asking us for money when a lot of the services are not being provided. Does okay. that make sense? In the sense that it does. we have a lot of people with sick people, for example, in the yeah. hospital, or somebody has yeah. died and they yeah. have a bill, they can't yeah. take them out. We are, not, we are not there yet as far as providing universal health care. So thank God it's one of the big four agenda. <laughs> and hopefully, in time, that becomes, if we could figure that out, then you won't have people asking you to help them get their sick person out. Mm. Second, if there was, the money was better spent instead of all the corruption, yeah. and you are able to cover bursary for most of the children, yeah. then they won't be calling us for school fees. So we can't also blame them for asking us for money when all the money for their services mm. is being misspent. However, yeah. they need to get angry okay, and make quick. sure that they sweep out those who do not provide the services. Okay. Your Jubilee, your NASA. ODM. NASA got swallowed. There's no NASA. What are you talking about? <laughs> They swallowed NASA. There's no NASA? <laughs> well, I'm ODM. Okay, all right, fine. That could be okay. NASA, but okay. I'm ODM. All right, good. NASA got uh, That's NASA the party that got me to power. To, to was power. ODM. ODM. Not <laughs> yes. NASA got NASA. Handshake. Yeah? Your thoughts? I, I think um, I support the handshake 100%. But uh, I think that uh, we in the ODM are actually getting a raw deal. How so? Wow. Um, I'll, I'll put it this way. I'll be very open. You know, we see a lot of appointments being made out, given out there. We see people who fought out to be able to make sure that uh, we have, uh, you know, this uh, handshake and be able to put our position very strong and we're left out. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, we are disgruntled and we call a spade a spade, you know. But the one thing that I support the handshake for is bringing stability in this economy and making sure that we grow as an economy. What I don't agree with yep. is on the way um, certain things are being done. Mm. Okay? I want to see more Maasai in government. Uh -huh. I want to see the Mao forest taken care of because my party leader was not voted for by a big chunk of uh, Rift Valley residents because he defended the party. Then he, I wanted him to be able to go there and tell Uhuru, let us con conserve this environment. That is one of the things that I really wanted. Sure. So I, I, I think it is good for the economy, yeah. but uh, I think it is good for stability, but uh, we, are, we still want to see real results. You feel, you feel short-changed? I, I feel short-changed. I'm actually surprised. Let's begin there. <laughs> 
that ODM is disgruntled. I think if anybody... Ledama or Lekena okay. is disgruntled. Thank you. Because Thank I you. want to see more Maasai getting better things than they are getting. I look forward for the day that we shall not come here and talk about our different tribes. I, and I'm not saying that necessarily that's no, wrong. Sure. But I'm just saying yeah. I wish and I hope that day gets here mm. when we can look holistically so at what I, Kenya, no, 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 Kenyans so are getting versus so the Kikuyu, yeah. the Maasai, the Kamba and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Now, as far as the handshake, if it has brought peace, then it's a good thing. However, <laughs> it also seems to have brought a lot of division and that's just the reality. Mm -hmm. All you have to do, you, you, even if you are blind, you could feel it. Yeah, you yeah. can see it. Yeah. Uh, there, it seems like we are almost also destroying other bridges while trying to build others. So I wish, what I would want to see is for the handshake to work, it must be all inclusive. What we've seen the legislators, for example, from ODM, and I'm not talking about you here, I'm talking about in general, I haven't seen you doing that, is what we've seen is them selling the politics of hatred and division. And it seems that their sole purpose is to fight William Ruto. So that I have a problem with, in the sense that for the handshake to work, it must be all inclusive. We had a handshake back, it was done in Akuru County back in 2013, yeah. and that brought stability to this country. So we hope to continue building on that, and hopefully we'll get but there. But the same William Ruto doesn't quite agree with the handshake. Why doesn't he, doesn't he agree with the handshake? Why doesn't he support it, Jeff? Because someone has come in the room and kind of, um, you know, rattled things. It's not just rattled. Somebody has come into the room and now wants to come in into your house and go to the bedroom. He's come into your house and now wants to say what's going on, you know? Yes. So obviously you would, be, you would not be happy. So this has continued to cause divisions, propaganda, mm. hatred. So that is what we have an issue with, with this specific person who's coming. Jeff, to the room. let me tell you something. Go on. You know, it will be remiss of me not to, if I don't say this. Kenyans must always thank Raila Molodinga. This is a person who has fought, fought for freedom of speech in this country, it's fought for the position where, if it was not for Raila Odinga, most of us would not be here. I can tell you that. I don't see Raila Odinga having joined in uh, with the handshake to try and dismantle Jubilee. You know, I think yeah, like these are just people are saying. Like some I, people I mean, his, are his foot soldiers let me, have said. Let me, let me, let me his foot soldiers. No, 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 no. Let me final. Let me that, just, that's the let me just quantify my. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it would be fair for us to criticize what Raila has done because what Raila has, really, has done for this economy is something that has even been recognized worldwide, and I think we must give credit where credit is due, because the other day I laughed when I saw at the Boniface Mwangi, uh, my friend. Mm -hmm was uh, arrested yeah. at the, because of organizing a revolution. A, a revolution yeah. Give me a... a, a <laughs> you know no. what? Let me just stop it that. How do you, organ, how do you plan a revolution? Yeah. You don't. Yeah. People get pissed off. Sure. You know? Sure. The day Kenyans will be pissed off enough is the day we'll have a revolution here. Yeah. We were just about to have that revolution. But Raila saw that this country was going into the dogs mm. and decided and said, gentlemen, hold your horses. Hold your horses. And we did. So I, I, I really would be happy for the time when not only we as the 43 ethnic groups of people who live in this country can be seen as one and we'll be able to move forward, but also I'll be happy for the day when my sister, my brothers from uh, William Ruto's side mm. will be able to see that what Raila brought in was not to divide but to unite. And even if you see it as a negative thing, take that negative and make something positive out of it. Good. We are trying to make lemonade out of those lemons. <laughs> uh, Jubilee is stable though. I yeah. mean, despite yeah. they're trying to aggravate and bring division. But someone is in your bedroom. Somebody is in the bedroom. And they must be dealt with. But however, I mean, <laughs> being great is also subjective. <laughs> okay. uh, at the end Folks. of the day though, yeah. yes. <laughs> we are good. <laughs> Jubilee's uh, purpose is okay. to make sure that we have a party that is not ethnic, okay. that is able to carry the agenda of, for the country, and that is, has representation in every corner for of this country, sake, and we are good. If the election was held tomorrow, mm -hmm. William Ruto, Ray Odinga, who would win? Can you go first? <laughs> <laughs> you know the why, answer is why obvious. You, why don't you put it this way? Go now, on. Let me, why don't you put it this way? Go and on. I know it's for argument's sake. Yes. Okay? And it's why, why don't we have these two gentlemen, first of all, declare their interest? Because let me tell you. We know Ruto's let me, running. Ruto let me is sad. I mean. You know, let me tell you. 
I don't, I don't know if Raila is going to be running. We don't know. Nobody okay, knows. nobody knows. No. Even Ruto himself has said that Jubilee will have a candidate. Yes. He did of not course. say it is going to be him. But, uh, no, know, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. I think what no, we need uh, to as do. A, as a whip of the party, that's important <laughs> that I clarify. She is the party whip. Right, She's right, right. right. Yes. The reason we say that Jubilee will have a candidate, we also, as much as we know, we have an agreement for him. At the, at the, when the time comes and somebody like you, Jeff, decides you want to run for president, you will go, both go in for a nomination contest. Right. So we are also a very democratic party. And sure. that's why he says let, somebody Let me will ask you there. this question. What if someone new comes up and not the two people you've just From mentioned? a different party or not, from, from know, within? Another Kenyan just comes up and says, Let say, them come. There's you know no what? problem. Kenya? I'm ready for you. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just asking. Fine, Why don't you broaden? No, your because question? because right now we know these two are a possibility. But, but right. do you see the confusion in their camp? It is, because it is not the confusion. Every day they wake up it and fight about, Ruto, let me tell but you. yet they don't know even who their candidate is. So I find that very strange. Can I just and that's why Hawaii <laughs> Leweki. <laughs> <laughs> let me put it. Let me put it this way, Jeff. You know what? what? <laughs> I want to see, which I don't believe it's ever going to happen. Go on. Okay. But I just want to be, you know, uh, let me not become so doubting Thomas yeah. or whatever, yeah. but let me just put it this way. Oh, I want right. to see Jubilee fulfilling his big four agenda. I don't believe they will. I do not believe That's a good will. point, by the way. Okay? I was going to come up to that. Mm -hmm. Is the big four agenda going to happen? No, oh, it's yeah. not going to happen. I mean, it is not going to happen. It is. Let me tell you. It's, it's two years and change. Well, I mean, we, we'll happen. do what needs to be done within those two years. And you know what, Jeff? We also understand as Jubilee. We really understand that for us to get that re-election again in 2022, it will depend on what we deliver right now. So we are working hard to make sure that but we deliver Senator, that. Senator, I yes, mean, sir. look, what is the big four? Tell me, what is the big four? Housing? Healthcare. Okay. Oh, okay. housing, uh -huh. you know, manufacturing, <laughs> manufacturing uh -huh. and, and, food uh, and food security. Now, let me tell you, before you even ask, yeah. if Jubilee is to achieve any of this, if they have any hopes of achieving any of this, yeah. Jubilee ought to focus on only one sector, which is manufacturing. Okay? Go on. If they focus on manufacturing, yeah. I can tell you, Kenyans will be grateful because this housing business is... Just nonsense. It will not happen. This issue of health care, it will not happen. Mm. Counties, we have counties where people who are, you know, even governors go out there and they say, oh, come, we'll sell our goats and cows and everything and to give you NHIF, <laughs> NHIF cards. And they, are not, and they are not given. Right. They are not given any. Even the people, the citizens are not given. So the only way that we can be able to help this economy, and this has happened historically in the United Kingdom, in China, it is by lifting our manufacturing sector. Okay, mm. look at all theories, economic theories. Mm. Right now, Narrow County, you know, we manufacture sugar, corn, mm. wheat. Why don't we build industries in those counties to ensure that the money circulates there, goes round and round? Yet we are letting China... Okay? We are letting China evade our economy and literally control it. So you say, forget the, the big four, forget the big four <laughs> let's do the big one. Just focus on manufacturing. Because with manufacturing, yeah. food security will automatically get there. Jobs. Okay, jobs will be created. Mm -hmm. Then once the jobs are created, leave the private sector to deal with the issue of housing. Mm. Okay? Well, Senator. yes. Uh, like I said, our purpose is to make sure that Jubilee's agenda becomes successful. And the big four is a big part of Jubilee's agenda. Okay. As much as I agree with my brother that yeah. we must get it right yeah. in manufacturing, and I truly believe that. However, I think they are all sort of interconnected. We need, like I talked a bit earlier about healthcare. We need healthcare that works, because no matter how much we do in manufacturing, mm. and we have people who are not healthy, it's not gonna help. And we all know, I don't know, maybe not in your families, but I know in my county, in our families, we are all every day having these issues of people cannot get treatment, yeah. or it's too expensive, or, or it's just it. not affordable, afford it, yeah. it's not accessible, sure, you know? Sure. So it's a problem. So I don't think we can also, as much as we want to focus on maybe one to make it more su successful, there are some that we, that we must also carry along. Food security, like right now, we've had issues with the rains. Right now like as we speak. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen in the next few months because, you know, most of the country, a big percentage is small-scale farmers. And if there's no food, then we are going to be staring at a disaster. Mm -hmm. So we can't also just put our hands in the, in the sand and forget about that as yeah. we just carry forward one. So all must work together. Okay. And I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, right? But what if we forget the big four 
and concentrate on the one thing that will give our president mm -hmm. a legacy people will remember for years. <laughs> <laughs> and that is right. the fight against the big C. Cancer? No, it's not cancer. <laughs> Well, corruption is a cancer. Corruption is yes. a cancer. Right, right, right. What do you think? That's not going to happen. No? That is not going to happen. It won't, it won't happen. You know, my sister earlier said, this fight against corruption is selective. You know, I somehow agree with her. I partly agree with her. Mm. It is selective. Because if you realize that all the three arms of governments are corrupt, okay, how are you going to win that one? Okay, what's going to be the president's legacy? Okay. Before we go to tweet, what uh, will be his legacy? Nothing. Oh, gosh. Huh? Nothing. Come okay? on, sir. Literally on. nothing. If there's anything, if, I, if you want me to be kind, yes. the handshake. <laughs> if you want me to be kind, the handshake. 10 and years let me, from let now, me, 20 let years me put it this way. Now. If the president wants to have a legacy, he must understand one thing, that there are two arms of government. There is, no, actually two levels of government. There is a national government and the county government. If he wants to be able to achieve anything in one of his four big agenda, the, the housing, the first thing he needs to do, call governors. You may not call all of them because it ends up being just a you know, formal discussion. Call one and say, uh, Governor Tunai, Naro County, how many plumbers do you have? How many masons do you have? How many carpenters do you have? Okay? Mm. If you don't have, there's an institution there. Do a, a skills audit. Build that. Because then, then you will see housing development coming up. And you can be able to do that. Go step by step. But when you say you were having a talk on corruption, the other time they had it in uh, where? K was it where was it? State House. No, no was it case? Not KACC. KACC. Okay, let's start even with KCC. What, what did the president say? I have given you guys money, the inst independent institution. I've asked you to go ahead and do that work. Okay, give him credit. Of course he has done that. You know, and we'll give him credit for that. Mm. But go to, it was uh, Bombers of Kenya. Mm. The, the same same people who are being investigated on corruption who are oh, talking to each other. They're all talking to each other. All this nonsense about fighting corruption is yeah. just going to be nothing but talk, talk, so, talk. So, let me talk so, a bit on the corruption legacy, first. Legacy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legacy. On legacy, before I get there. Real okay. quick on the, on the corruption. Okay. I believe Kenyans want to see a fight, a successful fight on corruption. However, like I said before, my sentiments still are we must take the politics out of fighting against corruption, the fight against corruption. And we must do it factually using the, tr being truthful and not also being selective we've seen a lot of that and we don't have enough time jeff but i could list a whole lot of scenarios where we've seen a lot of that okay. so i know the president is commit is very committed on uh, his, the fight against corruption but however the investigative agencies must also do their jobs and do it independently and do it truthfully okay, what will and be his, fairly. Legacy? his legacy will be when we achieve a lot of the some of the big four within the next few years <laughs> and some will be achieved for example we saw him launch the pilot program on the universal health care in four counties. So I'm passionate a lot about health care because yeah. I've seen it become, yeah. I mean, big, big it's a big problem. Big it's a big, huge yeah. problem. So if we can do that and replicate that in the yeah. 47 counties where we have universal health care, then he will have ach achieved a great legacy. Tweets, folks, tweets. But this Tanga Tanga thing of yours, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't even know like the word Tanga Tanga. I'm not on either side. <laughs> but she's quick to point out the, t the key no, Aleweke people, right? Before you, say, before you get in the tweet, there's something that my yeah. colleague has said. Go on. And uh, it will not be fair okay. if we leave it this way. Go on. What is this? I think the DCI is doing a fantastic job. The, the, the DCI. DCI is doing a fantastic job. But she says he's I being selected. I think the DPP... Yeah. No, 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 no. But you see, let me, let me ask you this question, Jeff. If someone now comes up and says to me, Senator Ledamo Lekena, yeah. you are there looking at other counties. You've not looked at Narok. We have 47 counties. Mm. It will be selfish for me to push my colleague and say, mm. let us start with Narok right, right. now. Okay? But, but you to know, be fair, that's not what I was you know, saying. What so, I was saying so, is they are not independent so, enough like the no, ESCC. In my view, uh -huh. the DCI. In my view, both agencies, yeah. ESCC, and DCI, DCI, and, ES, uh, and, yeah. and uh, DPP, DPP, DPP yeah. let me tell you, in my view, yeah. and let's I stand corrected on it, they are all independent bodies. Okay, folks, let's so look at tweets. Who is there? Who is there? Let's look at tweets if you don't mind. <laughs> Simon Kabiro, ask the honorable senators uh, if the minority we MPs get the, the House allowances, allowance. what will yeah. the majority voters get? Good services, less corruption, okay, and uh, a legacy for, you know, 
You know who? Are you guys too many? Do you think you're too many? Oh, no. 67 senators, 349 MPs. Uh, how many MCAs? 1,450 2, or something? 2,200 because of Jeez. the nominated. No, we're not. Come we're on, not. Man. You know, You know, Jeff, people forget how big Kenya is. It's not big. It's people, as big as let France. Let me tell you. It's as big as France no, or let me Texas. Tell you. Okay, let me tell you something. The land mass, the, the amount of where people live. You, you know, Jeff, you've lived in the UK. Yeah. You've lived in the US. Yes. You know, people in and those countries live together. Right. Here, we are sparsely Spread distributed. But she lived in Texas. Uh, Texas know, is the size of Kenya. She yeah, knows this. It is. But did you, how big is Texas? There are two senators. Narrow County only has one senator. Okay? Texas has... Okay, so how Kenya many representatives? No, 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 let's go. How many representatives are in, in Texas? It depends on the size. It depends eh? on okay. the size of their the state. Their state, yeah? mm -hmm. their state representatives. Right. Mm -hmm. and okay. Yeah. You know, in Texas, in Texas, let's look at it this way. In the U.S., there are three levels of government. Mm. There is a local. Yeah. There is a state. And there is a and national. There's a federal. And there's a national. Federal. Okay. Yeah. So really, we are not many. No. You know, no. Senator, what do you think? No, we need to represent. I think, uh, I think sometimes I think we are many. Yeah. I truly will say that on you. that one. I think we are too many. I agree many. with you. Odong Odongo Chot says, the cheap way of doing this. Let Parliament get a land bill, let, let get, uh, get a land, build houses, and force them to stay there as they pay rent. <laughs> Alternatively, <laughs> would be to build a hotel complex and do the business. And that's what you said earlier on. I said in, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. yes. No, 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 no. It happens you, in, Tanzania people, Tanzania in Tanzania and Zambia. Uh -huh. However, I, I think it's a very expensive way to go. So like you just expensive. said, we are very many. No, but let me ask you, didn't you see what uh, uh, PSC did? They no. submitted three proposals to SRC. Which were? One was, how's all the MPs in a hotel? In a hotel. <laughs> it was coming to 1.4 B. Imagine A that. year. Paid Imagine by us. A year that. paid yes, by of you. Course. Oh, okay? Yeah. But if you, so the, I don't think you want that option. No, we don't oh. want that at all. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, oh, yeah, Wamalwa says, <laughs> <laughs> after the end of their term as senators in 2022, what do they want to be? Aha. <laughs> gotcha. You know what? Yeah. I'm a senator right now. I want to dedicate my time as senator. 2022 comes, then I'll declare my interest. Listen to this. I yes. would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeff, on that one. Yes. I love my job right now. I love being a senator and what I can do for my people. You want to do two, so another, for right you want to do two terms? I, I don't know. When we that? get to that point, yeah. we will. actually for me, God will guide me to what direction. Amen. This man wants to be president in 2032. 2032. Right? As you declared that, right? I've declared that. <laughs> and you know, and I hope that Omosh, you know, my baba. Yes, you know. <laughs> you know, with, uh, from uh, Flair by Betty, will always be there to make sure that he makes me look good. In fact, I you noticed know? online they kept asking, he took away the afro, the afro. No, 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 no the like, afro still there. You should see what they're saying now. Mm -hmm. We no, should Jeff, take a Jeff, break Jeff, so that he can comb his hair. Jeff, look at, look at my really hair. Look at your hair. Us. I mean, this hair is tired, man. Looks cool, man. We are really talking cool. about hair. Like, we can't <laughs> show you. Uh, the men are talking about hair. <laughs> there no, is no. a problem. Okay, okay. let me okay. ask you. Isn't our hair cool? Both I can't answer that on national TV. Senator, like. Senator. <laughs> so let's say you do two turns. Yes. Would you want to be governor at some point? I don't know. I think I'll let once we... What, we I'll cross the bridge when we get there. Absolutely. Could, you see politicians answer. No, 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 but, but I'll give 20, you... 2032? 2032, God willing, I pray to God to keep me. I will seek uh, the mandate from the Kenyans to show them the way forward. And in fact, Jeff, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm writing a book called The Way Forward. In this book, I am going to ensure that every single household in this country has a copy of that book. Very good. Can you see that, President Olekina? Absolutely. Just remember us when you become president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shad, uh, Shad Irango. I'm not surprised that both senators support the House allowance. Yes, it's expensive being a politician. However, think of the Mamamboga and Mjengo guy who are the actual taxpayers. It's hard living in Kenya. Boss, I agree. we are taxpayers as well. No, yeah, I but, agree with that statement. But, but, I, but I, I know what she's saying. Huh? No, no, I, I agree with what she's saying. Yes, yes. But I think what we ought to do now mm, mm is that we need to make sure that Mama Mboga has a good market mm. to be able to expand her business. And this goes back to the manufacturing sector that I was just talking about. Mm. We build a manufacturing sector, yeah. we ensure that we can be able to sell what is within our, what, we, what we grow. Yeah. I think we also need to give them a better business environment so that yes. you don't have them paying all these taxes right. when it's Mama Mboga and she's barely making it. Okay. 
Uh, Isaac Uchiang Mboya says, Jeff, the questions the governors should answer are, was the amount allocated from Treasury inclusive of the alleged national government That's vote heads? If no, fine. If yes, then did the governors return the amount or they spent it? Remember those line that's items? Very, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's a question, question for the governors mm -hmm. to answer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. When they appear before us. We don't know the answer yet. We don't know the answer. We'll wait. Not okay. preempt. So yeah. if they spent 973 million on state house functions. Then there is a problem. Committee. Okay. Uh, last tweet, Esther Moshai says, they should wait for Jubilee Housing Project. <laughs> <laughs> if they can't afford the housing Point in Nairobi, <laughs> whose houses are they occupying in Nairobi? Wajikos? <laughs> wow, that's a hard tackle that's right there. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Esther crowd. Moshai. <laughs> tough crowd. Is this the last one? And what's the SMS you were saying, Monica? You're saying there's some SMS. Oh. Huh? Oh, someone says, Mwambia uh, Ledama, Iyo Nyuele, Siyo Mbaya. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm still waiting. On whose? Oh, from you. What's your name again? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jeff is reading. <laughs> Which one? Okay. All right, folks. <laughs> Ma Malika sent me a whole bunch of questions. All right, so. Uh, we've, we've talked about your future or yeah. wherever you guys want to end up and you didn't talk about it very much but the question is moving forward as a nation we'll start with you Mweshimiwa mm -hmm. Senator moving forward because you know there's a lot of mistrust mm -hmm. there's a lot of hope that's being lost mm -hmm. in this country what do you tell Kenyans what do you tell people out there who are looking at you guys you're in your mid 30s or early 40s you're so young mm -hmm. and you are the future what do you tell them now Really, uh, and I'll answer that question in my position as a senator. What I'll start with is tell them that we are going to work very hard as a House, a Senate, to make sure that we get them the money that they need at the county level from the national government. And that's why sometimes, uh, even as, as uh, last week, we voted against, or we amended uh, the division against the division, no, the, the division of revenue from 310 to 335. Yeah. The point being, we need them to have more money at the county level so that services can be provided. However, in addition to getting them more money, we are going to make sure that we oversight that money properly so that they can get the water that they need, they can get the roads done that they need, they can get their ECDs, uh, the teachers hired, they can have medicine when they go to the hospitals, and they can get services and good quality lives because there is money from the government for that, and we must stop corruption so that we are able and the country is able to provide services for these people. I have another question for you but let sure. the senator here finish and then I'll, I'll come back I, to you. I'm, I'm very hopeful about the future. Mm. I, I think the moment that we as Kenyans uh, begin taking responsibilities that even we can be able to change Kenya then then we can definitely be able to move forward. Number one we need to ensure as legislators we need to involve citizens more on the budget formulation process. We need for them to understand how their money is being spent. I think county governments also have got to come up with ways of increasing their own source revenue because currently there's a huge reliance on the national government yeah. to be able to, on the shareable revenue. We also need to be honest with each other. You know, we don't live forever. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a level of corruption which is stupid. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I saw yesterday mm -hmm. someone saying a tycoon in Nigeria buried his father in a brand new BMW. Correct. You know, you bury them, some hooligans will just go remove it, dump the body. Yeah, you know, all of us whatever, yeah. must remember mm. that we have got a responsibility. You know, when you go to sleep, when you wake up in the morning, you must understand that you have to leave this country mm -hmm. a better place than you found it. Yeah. I would want to plead with uh, His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. You know, I want to be as critical as I can be, but I still have faith that you, if you sit down and look at where you've come from, you know, you'd want every Kenyan to be able to be where you are today. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. our environment is, is important. Yeah. All of us must stop all this nonsense of destroying our forest. You know, Jeff, you and I went to the Mount Forest. We did. You know, and let me tell you, this year, there's no BS. This year, I begin the fencing of that forest. You know, and it is me, you, in fact, Susan Kihika is giving me four million for one kilometer. Well done, well done. You know, well done. Yes. You know and the people of Nakuru. Yeah. 
But you, know, you but and you I'm are, pretty sure you, are solic- you can you're soliciting be able funds yourself. Yeah. Myself, I'm yeah. putting my my own money. I'm putting money from my friends, yeah. from entities. Yeah. It is not about Ledama. It is about all of us. You know, there are, there are gentlemen who are coming out and saying we want to plant trees. Mm-hmm. Right now, we are planting more trees. So climate you know, change is real. You know, climate oh, change yeah, is absolutely. real. Uh, so in f- the only way we are going to save this country mm-hmm. is that if we all remember that we have a responsibility. And we must take that responsibility mm. and ensure that when we are all long gone, yeah. people will say there was a gentleman called Ledama mm. and he cared about something yeah. and this is what he left. Yeah. You know, this greed where we are taking too much and, take, and bragging about it will not help us. No. There's a lot of fake currencies in this country. In Kilimani around here, there's a lot of fake Every currency. Day. Every day. Every, Every single day. day. Yeah. And you know why? Because people want to find out a better way. It's because green. the government, yeah. we in, the, in parliament, yeah. and that's why I keep on saying, Jeff, we in parliament have failed this nation. We've got to read the bills. We've got to put the, car, the, the executive to check. And we let, we let the judiciary and the institutions do their job. Yeah. My, my colleague here would not be complaining and saying that this year is being selective if we ourselves did our job properly. Mm. True. Real yeah, quick absolutely. and quick answers. Mm. Have we borrowed too much from China? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. God. I think so. I yeah. think, uh, really, that one we must be objective. Yeah. I think as a country we must reevaluate. Um, the level at which we are borrowing. Yeah. Because I think it's a national security issue. And we're mortgaging our kids and our kids' Absolutely. kids. Jeff, yeah. the moment I had, whether it was true or not, yeah. that uh, my two friends, yeah. Uhuru <laughs> and Raila, came back empty-handed. Whether it was true or not, that's yeah. a disclaimer. Sure. No, the, my friend, no, they got you don't 40 know. Billion to upgrade the Let me tell you, but on the three, whatever amount of money, 368. you know, 368. Yes. To get, and you know, people think that SDR is in her county. It is actually in my county. Mm. It is in Narrow County. It is not Naivasha. It That's is Narrow. So let me finish this. Yes. The moment I had that, yes. Jeff, at 18, I celebrated. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. <laughs> 18 year old. I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, I wouldn't know anything was, about oh, that. She just it's said it. Okay. She just said it. You know, yeah. I celebrated. Oh, yeah. I was so happy because yes. there's no point. Yeah. Well, you know, some people are even afraid of giving birth nowadays. Because when the child comes out, a thousand, a thousand dollars <laughs> in debt. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred thousand shillings in debt. That we so owe, some people are afraid. we owe China. That we owe China. Mm. And I also you know, think we are letting, I, I, not even outside of the debt. Mm. When we have these Chinese doing whatever it is they are doing in the country, yes. I think we are giving them too much blank checks, mm. basically. So you have them doing every other kind of job, you know, so that when you see them in our counties and they don't employ anybody from the county barely, then I wonder sometimes what we are doing. Do you have Chinese in Nakuru County? Oh yes. Not just building roads and, and doing stuff. Are they hawking? Are they? Oh no, no, no. Bu- I haven't seen them bu- hawking, but businesses? I've seen them building roads or whatever with some businesses and all that. However, you see a lot of they bring their own employees and yeah, all that. Yeah. So I think, and that's where as legislators we must do something. Nara we County, must stop that. Chinese. Let me tell you, the only ones who are there are the ones building the rail. Because there, what, what will they do? They will not keep cows, will not give them our land. I just told them, you guys, you come and build your rail, you're not giving us for free, and you go back to your country. Which, and then finally I must say this, we must learn to live within our means. True. You know, mm. development is good, mm. but can we learn you know, can we, this year I've put a challenge, which I'm, I'm going to share with my sister here. And, and guess what? Because she's aggressive, she's going to be able to go head, you know, head on with me. We are going, I'm going to create 300 entrepreneurs in Narok. And they will revolve around the products which are produced in Narok. Sell them. Like what? You know, let me tell you, we have sugar cane. Okay. Transmara Sugar Company yeah. produces a lot of sugar. We have wheat. We have wheat. Yeah, yeah. We have corn. We have beans. We have potatoes. Mm-hmm. Now you think about it this way, uh, Jeff. My ward, the ward that I come from, mm-hmm. uh, Eldamat, mm-hmm. there are kids who have gone to school, they are jobless. If I can put 10 of them together, yeah. you know, give them some, I uh, invite you, I put them a little money, invite my dear sister here mm-hmm. to come, we, and then we go to the youth fund, we, we, stop, we start a small kiosk there for them, and then how did Alibaba start? That's right. That's you know, like that. so you now make you use technology to make sure that that community buys products from them. Yeah. Yeah. Senator, this mm-hmm. one's specifically for you from one of your county mates, right? Mm-hmm. Please ask on behalf of Nakuru people the state of Lake Nakuru chopper crash insurance oh, cover yeah, for yeah. families. They said you've forgotten about them. 
they're pleading with you. Who? Who, who is pleading? Uh, I, I don't know Some the name. They just person. say, uh, I guess they must have suffered or they have a family member who... who the died. families are pursuing the, the insurance on their own. Meaning that's between the families and the insurance companies. companies. Yeah. So that's nothing public at this point because yeah. it has not happened yet. Uh -huh. It's still in the process, yes. Okay. So once it happens, then, I mean, when they say I've forgotten, I haven't forgotten. We're mm. still pursuing that. Okay. However, I'm not the insurance company. So there's, there's only so much I can do. You can do, do as exactly, senator. Exactly. So I say everybody to just be patient. The families are still following up on that. And in the right time, then it will happen. And it's not something that we bring out to the public every day. Okay. Yeah. All right, my dear. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad I asked you. Sure. I hope you're not too angry that I no, asked no, you. No, 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 why? Ask about Solai. She's done a fantastic oh, job. Oh, Solai. She did a year it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow is one year. May, May 9th, actually. Of, you know. we've, we've worked very hard, but we are still... Actually, we were in the committee Same together committee. because we set it up. Yeah. And I made sure that we had the very good, aggressive and senators to be able to do that. Compensation? Still hasn't happened. You but know, let me tell you, let me tell you, and this is where I agree with my colleague here. Some of these institutions, you know, I agree and I disagree with her when it comes to the DCI and the ESCC. Right. But to be honest with you, yeah. you know, we had serious recommendations. Yes. I remember that. You know, I very serious. We had serious recommendations. Mm. And yet the you owner know? took off to the UK or whatever you, it was. Let me tell you, Jeff, you know what is so sad? Let me not say this. No, say it. I mean. You know, some people benefited from the people of Salai dying. From the deaths of you know, 47 people. Other, others were even trying to stop us from doing the report yeah. because they pocketed billions. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's again where we must say that at some point, it doesn't matter who disagrees with you. At some point, as long as you believe you're doing the right thing and you're helping those without a voice. But the law takes effect, right? And these people should be compensated. Oh, absolutely. And that's why we fought this hard. So we are still not there. We went back there, wasn't we went uh, about even two We went with the ago. legal committee, with the yeah. legal committee and yes. you. And it, it, it is sad. It's one Jeff. year it tomorrow. It is sad. Jeff. One year tomorrow. One year tomorrow. Jeff, you Somebody. Know what, what, uh, what Maraga should do? Maraga should take that file and come out and tell Kenyans, we are going to prosecute this matter in a record seven days. Okay. I don't give a hoot in hell about a million uh, witnesses. Right. What are the million witnesses? Yeah. Kenyans are all witnesses. They have seen it. Yeah. You know, it's an illegality. Uh, what I think is sad, it seems there's two levels of justice in this country. <sighs> there me. is justice for those with money yeah. who can mistreat yeah. people for this long. Yeah. A year later, we have no compensation. None. Nothing has really, not much has been done. No. And yet they're just walking around. No, it's very sad. It they're walking free, around. Very yes. free. A, a year later. Yeah. So when you see us angry, but we shall keep pushing. Keep we pushing. shall make sure that these people get the compensation. They will. Yeah. They keep will. pushing. Mm. Keep well. pushing. I mean, you have, it's say, even you. beyond the, now the comp for the people who lost their lives, those who were injured, yeah. the ones who were left homeless. Yes. You also now have 5, land where the plus. soil was swept away so they can't farm, they can't get anything out of it. Oh. So what nothing. are they going to eat for the rest of the year? It is nothing. terrible. You know, and you see, the sad part is that if you look at the EMCA Act, when a restoration order is issued, you must make good of that order. So, you know, so what excuses my dear brother Kiriako going to give us now if that restoration order he issued, you know, was never was never effective. Yeah. Guys. And then you have you have when the public and the area MCA comes out to demonstrate right. against it, they are put in. Because and they are they are, they are charged so the bond is so much. You know, it's ridiculous. Because there are higher powers, there are more powerful. Exactly, people. they are more powerful people you know than what? these poor you know families. What they forget? Yeah. But there is a god they in all end up in. Right six there, feet six feet under. Under. But we are still fighting on right. that one. Yeah. Guys, it's almost midnight. Mm. Oh, we didn't oh, is even it? realize. You never know. When you're having fun, you don't Time even know. Time flies even. when you're having fun. Mm. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming all the way from Mombasa. Thank you. And you from the UK. Yes. Goodness. Just but for we you. Are, we are on research. And Kenyans. Yeah. And Kenyans. Just in case know? they wonder why. You guys are the future. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank President you. 2032. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Governor. That's right. 2022. She admitted now. She admitted now. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. This Thank is you. no doubt the future of Kenya. And yes, there are issues, there are problems. They say nothing's perfect, but maybe in their time, they will make things better. They will undo the, th the things that have just gone wrong over the years. Maybe this is the generation that will change things. Thanks so much, uh, Nakuru County Senator Susan Keika, Narok County Senator Ledama Olakina. Appreciate their time. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. Join me tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on the Hottest Breakfast Show in all of Africa on Hot 96.
Hashtag Jeff and Hammer One Heart. And every Wednesday, don't forget, it's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. J-K-L. Right here on Citizen Television. Thanks so much. Good night, good luck. And God bless this great nation of ours called Kenya. Well done, guys. Do you sleep?